Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, October 13th, 2021 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi. Biscuit is right here. And our energy mantra for today is, I nurture the energies that help bring me into balance. All right, I'm going to give you a little kitten shot. She's snoozing. <laughs> um, maybe she'll make an appearance. I will not because to stay in balance meant... Uh, for me to honor my kitten caretaker feels of being covered in pee and poop and kitten formula and cat food and all of that. So today's energy is a little bit wonky. I mentioned it yesterday. Uh, we have that sun in conjunct Neptune feeling and it's such a wonky combination Libra and Pisces I'm not knocking anybody who has them in their chart I really like that combination but it can be a challenge because neither is static neither is particularly grounded we have the Libra energy which pendulums it swings back and forth that you know the pendulum rarely if you ever just sit there holding a pendulum it's so rare that the pendulum will just be still right the pendulum anything will move the pendulum and so that's like libra energy anything's going to move that pendulum like oh here's this bit of information here's this thing all of that moves the pendulum and then we have pisces and pisces again is never like really still pisces is the swimming fish so it's swimming here there everywhere not really settling in one place like oh what's this over here what's this over here gathering all these little bits of information tidbits all of that so the combination of these two energies in an in conjunct which is not seeing eye to eye, not really know how to work together. We're all feeling this like discomfort, this like rah energy. And in the cards, I actually have, I have two of the same cards from yesterday, um, but one of them is the possibilities card in reverse. And what I'm feeling with this is, even though we start the day with the moon and Capricorn and have that through a large part of the day, today is not a day where it's like, nail down the thing, make the decision. Unless you really feel it very strongly. If it feels like 100% yes, then 100% yes, do that. Follow that. Honor that. However, um, chances are it's not going to feel that way. And chances are you're going to feel that pressure. Like, I have to decide. I have to make this thing. And yet, the possibilities card says to me, just like I said yesterday, you don't have all the information to make the decision at this point. To make the decision that's going to be most aligned for you at this this point. So your work is to be okay in the discomfort. Your work is to be okay with the, yes, I'm going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. I don't really know. I'm not really sure. Hey, what's that pretty color over there? Pink. Yay. Your work is to be okay in that energy and know that it serves a purpose and it won't last. And even to just trust that process, that there's something unfolding in this process for you. So hold space in and through this energy. Neptune and Pisces in particular is so much around faith. And so faith could be the other word for this trust card. Being able to hold that faith. Faith in the divine. Faith in your intuition. Faith in unknown possibilities. That there is a divine path to be taken in and through this energy. All right, so even if you don't know that possibility, what that possibility is right now, hold that space for that. Now, the other kind of wonky energy that we're working with, it's not really wonky in the astro, but I'm, I'm feeling some energies around it. Um, we have Venus and Saturn connecting. Uh, Venus and Saturn are connecting in a sextile. So Venus and Sagittarius, Saturn in Aquarius. And at first glance, this sextile is very supportive, like Sagittarius, Venus and Sagittarius wants an adventure and has a vision and Saturn and Aquarius is like, yeah. Um, however, with the moon in Capricorn, Saturn may feel a little bit more withholding of energies. Uh, I have the conditioning card which is very Saturn. It is the Saturn card, actually. It's the devil card in traditional tarot. So it is the Saturn card. Um, the conditioning card. Speaking of, this just came through like a bam. Speaking of possibilities, I feel like I would love to teach a class or do a group going through the Osho, Osho tarot. 
because I love this deck. I've been using this deck for maybe 12 years now. I love it so much. Um, I think it would be really fun to explore this deck. So let's think, let's think about that. Is anybody interested? Anyway, that felt like a yes. That's the possibility that until this very moment had never come through. So, hey, anyway, <laughs> so there is this, there is this vision that is, that is being held, held close. And it, this, again, like I said, it might relate to the sun and Neptune energy because it's like, I don't know, am I worthy of this vision coming about? Like, can I do this? Do I have the skills? All of those things. It feels like all of those energies are kind of coming up into question. And so this may be where you're feeling some of that, some of the wobble come in because Venus can be like, worth issues and Saturn is like that purpose. Saturn is stepping up into the mission. So as they come together, we may feel some wobble around our mission. Oh, she likes my hands doing this. She's like, that's what I do. I need biscuits. <laughs> so um, she opened up her eyes for that. I don't think you can see, but <laughs> anyway, um, holding space, holding space for that energy and being able to tend to yourself where you feel the wobble or where you feel those potholes dropping you, so to speak. Um, so yeah, Venus and Saturn. This can also be really interesting in regards to relationship. I would say in any relationship, yourself, the universe, partners, friends, this is a call for freedom, this connection. And so if you are having any relationship stuff come up in this, holding that energy of faith and tending to yourself, tending to your own freedom, tending to your own sense of balance, I feel like would be very healing and healthy in this energy. So two more things to approach. Uh, we have the moon and Pluto connecting. That's very early in the morning. You may have some darker thoughts rising up to the surface to be processed. So be present as you face the shadows. Be present for yourself. Trust in your own personal authority. And again, work on your own sense of balance. I'm feeling a lot of that. I have the integration card. I told you two cards came from yesterday. The integration card is here again. So it's really, we're really being pushed into this balance. And also that patience, temperance is about like, all right, things happen when they're meant to happen. There's a certain chemistry to the universe that has to happen in divine timing. So really being able to hold that Hold that space as we move through these energies. You can't, you can't push the river, so to speak, even when it comes to moving through uncomfortable energies. Um, our final thing that we have going on is the moon shifting into Aquarius. That will be at 1.47 p.m. Pacific time. We will have that Capricorn void moon for a large portion of the day. Um... You don't have to prove yourself to the world. You don't have to prove yourself to society. You're here to show up and honor your missions. I'm adding an S to that. Your missions, your purpose. You have, I feel like we all have like a gigantic overlying like big cloud purpose. <laughs> but we have missions many missions that feed into that purpose energy. That's what you're here to show up for and as, you know? And so tune into and align with that. Feed your energy into those things. I really love that question from yesterday. Is this, you know, my ego self? Is this the selfish self? Or is this soul self? That's helping guide me in and through this and really keep tuning into that to help align you and balance you. Moon into Aquarius though, it is going to jack up um, the electrical vibes. So also be aware of that for the next few days. Um, speaking of one last thing, Moon and Aquarius can also bring up feelings of like, I don't really belong. <laughs> Why am I here? I promise you if you are on this earth, even if you feel like you don't belong, you are absolutely 100%, especially if you don't feel like you belong here, meant to be here. You are on the Leading Edge team here to help create new worlds from all of this. We'll just leave that there. So um, I was going to take her out, but she's so cute and snoozy. So one last look at Biscuit. 
cutest thing who likes to eat like every two hours, um, <laughs> you can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Let me know if you would be interested in going through the Osho Tarot, how I understand and look at the cards from a traditional tarot standpoint, but also from, you know, the card standpoint from using them for so long. God, that just sounds so fun, right? <laughs> um, and if I have enough interest, I will put a class together. So besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And stay curious. Namaste.